Hello there, welcome back to our channel and uh, today we are exploring this software which is a free software available on the internet. It's called KeyCAD and it is a very complete software as it seems and uh, it has a schematic board uh, drawing option and then using the schematic after you finish you can actually simulate your circuit and thereafter once you verify the electrical performance of your circuit there is an option of doing a PCB, PCB printed circuit board out of it so right now I'm just giving a short demo about how to open this software and uh, place the components and how to have the interconnection of them and most importantly how to select all those components and uh, making a connection. So for example, I will show you like how I placed all these uh, devices such as BJT and the resistors and the ground pin and now I'm also going to place the power pins because I need the power supply to turn this circuit on and the next step would be to simulate but we'll see uh, how far we can go from here. So I'm not going to explain you all the menus and the buttons because that will do as we go along uh, simultaneously we'll explore that. So what I have done initially I just uh, after downloading and installation of the keycad i would uh, i did this thing uh, i just typed the keycad on the type to search on my computer and i clicked uh, keycad here it is and when I clicked over here, it opened me this uh, schematic editor that you can see already it's there. And then with it, uh, I see that there is a schematic editor, symbol editor, PCB editor, all these options are available. And I wanted to create a new schematic. So I clicked on file and then I said new project. I create a new project and then from my library, I created one folder example and then say, okay, um, give my project name as an example. And that is saved as typed as keycard project files. And then I clicked uh, save, okay. And that's how I got this um, two files uh, ready after I saved that project. So one is the example keycad.pcb and one is keycad dot schematic uh, so right now uh, on our screen we see there is a keycad schematic editor and after that i wanted to create a simple circuit using transistor and uh, register so what i have done is uh, let me show you that yeah so I did one thing I see on the top menu. Let me show you that. Here on the top menu, uh, there is option of create, delete and edit symbols. But now there is this option. So click here, browse symbol library. So you click here. And then in this option, I see there are variety of uh, options among choosing oscillators and the memory devices, uh, motor, power and everything. So there is a scene of all the components and devices. So based on that, what you want, for example, transistor BJT. So you, ha you have all these parts numbers and then uh, you can actually do that. So for example, I wanted the BC548 that is a general purpose transistor. I, I can choose BC547 also and all those things. So in case you don't uh, see the library, which is in the left right here and each library of the devices and the components, you have their parts in the middle as the name suggests as the numbers are placed here. So we just type that, okay, in the transistor, I want, for example, two and double two double two is that a transistor available no that there is no such transistor but there is this two and double two one nine part okay if you say i want bc bc five four eight 
Uh, so there comes this transistor. You can also say BC54 and all the transistor link with that series comes here. 547, 548. So NPN and PNP transistor they are. So I chose uh, BC548 and here comes automatically the schema schematic symbol for this transistor. And I see that uh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's a, it's a specifications are given here that is it can withstand about 100 milliampere current uh, which is a collector current it can withstand about 30 volt open circuit voltage that is across the collector and emitter it is a small signal npn transistor and it's available in this package to-92 once that is done what i do i will just double click here and you see this transistor comes right here on the screen. So I will press OK or just click on the schematic. Then I press Escape to get rid of this combo. And this is how I placed the transistor Q1 and the transistor Q2. Now I don't want this third transistor. I will just click here. And uh, after clicking, you see it opens, opens the uh, library here so i don't want to see that so what i'll do i will just uh, uh, select this part let me just select that how it comes it's it, it's coming again so i will just uh, click delete from the library okay now this part again comes here. So what I want next, I want the register. So what I, I again click here, browse symbol library. And now I am in the transistor library. So I have to choose, uh, go for a register library. I don't know that where it is. So what I would do, I will just try to search register. It comes or not, no. Then I will say device, for example, I, in the device, uh, if I double click the device, no, it's not coming right here. What about I click here, register, for example. Uh, yeah, so when I say register, here I see there is an option R and that's my register, okay? So that's the keyword you can type here. Then uh, you have this uh, a network of the registers also. So you can just uh, use that. That is one thing you can do. And uh, what else you have to do? Let me check and show you there. Just scroll down with this and uh, you will see if there are a variety of options available with the registers. Okay, just keep going down. Here is the IP or the shunt resistance, shunt US and then uh, r small r small us so they are basically uh, your uh, different types of symbol based on the uh, different types r us r variable so you just say r small us and double click over here so here is that register you can place it on the schematic and that's how i have chosen all these registers okay and once that is done all the registers are done then i need a ground uh, which i have uh, shown you on the schematic the way i have placed this is a ground one so what i'll do i see here there is this uh, add a par symbol so i click here i want it uh, there are two options now one is uh, it is asking that you want uh, simulation spice because you want to perform simulation also so this is symbol specialized for simulation so i will just click zero volt reference potential for simulation i want that so i will click ok and uh, i have checked this box place repeated copies uh, because it will make them allow me to place multiple of those uh, components so if i click ok and then i say I place it here, one here, then one here, and so on. They press escape to get rid of it. So this is how I place this ground symbol. Now I don't want this uh, again, uh, but what about this uh, power symbol? Let us say how much uh, voltage you want. So here are the power symbols, special power flags. So that this uh, plus one VO power symbol creates a label let's uh, 
maximize this. So it will create you a global label with the name plus one VO. And uh, if you go, for example, three, it is a power symbol that will create a global label with the name plus 3.3 .3 volt. Okay. And uh, let's see how many other things are you have for four volt, for example, you have five volt also, right? So all these things are there. Uh, let us go for 10 volt. Yeah, you have 10 volt also. And then this is also, it will say that it is a battery symbol. And so many, there is a VDC also, minus VDC. Let's check whether you have this. Look at this ground. So this is a ground. We'll check that, how it is different from this one. So yeah, there is this uh, two different symbols. Now you see this symbol is different than this symbol. So it depends uh, which symbol you have chosen. Okay, again, click, click here and uh, power symbol. It will create a global label with the name okay. ground. So we need that. And then you have ground one, ground two. This is the power flag, special symbol for telling ERC where power comes from. Uh, okay, now this is your VCC. Let us choose that. We need a VCC or VDD. Okay, VDD is also there, right? So VDD and VEE will choose it. And then this is, a, there are specialized, uh, symbols specialized for five spice circuit simulation. So we have actually taken the zero volt uh, reference potential for simulation. We wanted this, right? So we have taken that. Let's go for VDD. We do that. And here is your VDD. So what I'll do, I place one here. Then... Uh, let me just uh, zoom to fit home. Let's, let me place uh, one here and let me place uh, one here. Now I want to zoom to objects. So here it goes. Again, I will just uh, see zoom to object control. Yeah, so that is how it goes. So let us see that again. Let's open the schematic, how it goes. Okay, uh, now I want to make the connection. So I will just come here and then right, I will just make the connection. So look at this. I have to press escape first to get rid of component. And when this pencil sign comes, I can make the connections right here. That's very good. Here also, I have to make the connections. Yeah. That's it. And uh, other components, I don't want them. So I will just say, I don't want that. So I will just say, delete this. Delete this part also. I'm selecting them and deleting it. Uh, them. Deleting it. And then delete it. So that's it. So here is how we are done with this. But there is this connection left here. So let us make this. Yeah, so we have done these connections with this transistor. What about their values of the register? So if I right click here on the body of a register, I can see there is this properties. So I will just say uh, it's a reference R2. The value is there. Uh, the value can be actually put up there. So let's say it is uh, one kilo ohm. I click uh, OK and that's how the value comes here. Again, I right click, go to properties and the value is 1K. That is how it goes. And then I have this register R5. I will go properties. Here I want 10K for example. That is how it goes. And then for this register, I will again click properties and I see I want like, let's say uh, 250 ohms and I just click OK. Here is uh, also uh, the properties. 
and then I see I want like 250 ohm and that's it. Okay. And this is how I have done that. But now I need to create the voltage supplies here. Voltage supplies needs to be placed. So let us check that how we can do it. So after making all the connections, if you wish to highlight the connection between the nets, for example, I have created this VDD uh, and I have connected them to all these three points right here. So what I will do, I will uh, go to this uh, part here and it prompts me to highlight wires and pins of a net. So I will select this. And then let's say I will click on this net. So look at this pink one. It highlights the nets and the wires connected there. So this is how I can do that. All right. So if I wish to add a net label, for example, I know that there is this uh, voltage source and here is my net that is uh, forming a base voltage to this first transistor and the output of this transistor is becoming an input to the second transistor. So here is the output of the first transistor. So if I want to label this net, what I can, I can right click here and see if there is an option uh, available. So here it's uh, asking me that uh, change to a label, okay? It gives me option. So there is option also change to a global level. Of course, that's not a global net. That's the local net actually, okay? So I will choose change to label and uh, will I will see what it does to me. So after clicking on that net, I got this option. So I will say, okay, VB, I want to uh, label it as a base voltage. I click OK and that label comes here. Then I will place it on that net. And now this label is uh, there. Okay. So right clicking here, uh, you have so many options like clear net highlighting. Then uh, you can actually have this option about uh, you can also change it to global level back again but now for now the label has been placed on this uh, one okay and uh, you have highlighted your net vbb vdd so by clicking escape button on your laptop or computer you can just uh, cancel that highlighting and now uh, if i press this vb right here uh, I see that uh, it is also a bit uh, highlighted. Okay, there is this option also. You can also click here, add a label net here. You see, after clicking here, let's say I say it is V out one. And I want to give this label to this net right here. So I will place it here. And finally, uh, I got this one. How about the output of this uh, multi-stage amplifier, the final output is right here. So what about I, uh, I, I, add a net class directly label. Let's select that, uh, not, not this one. Let me, let me check that out one second. So what I'm going to do, I want the final label at the output of this multi-stage amplifier. Before that, I need to place a register here in between VCC and the collector pin of this transistor. What I'll do, I will click R4 and then control C and then control V. That makes a copy of the register right here. And then I will just try to place it here. And you see is already making connection there and the value of it let's say i want uh, the value is not the 250 however i want it to be let's say one kilo ohm and that is how it is done i haven't uh, 
selected the values based on the design equations. It is the purpose here is to just to show you how to use this software to make the schematic uh, accurately by using the components and uh, devices from the libraries and highlighting nets, labeling nets, uh, selecting the power, the ground, etc. Now I will go to placing this uh, label. So I will choose this one, add a global label, connect. Here I say, this is my final output, that is VO. I will say, okay, and I will place it here and then press escape, then choose a wire. Where is the wire? Add a wire and then go to make the connections right here right here once you make the connection you see there is a junction the dot indicates that so here it is and you are done with that uh, adding the global net okay and now we are uh, completing it step by step So after ensuring that you have selected all devices, components from the library and uh, you are there to perform the electrical check. So here goes the option. So let me check you that uh, here, the perform electrical rules check. It will, this option will help you to make sure that your circuit is proper or not. So click here and uh, you have to run the electrical rule check ERC that will give you that one. So there is an error input power pin not driven by any output power pin. So that's the first error. Then the second error is input power pin not driven by any output power pin. So now we need to understand what those errors are and we need to find a way to get rid of them. Let's click here. What is ignored uh, test a spice model issue? Okay, so we have to see how we can uh, remove those errors. Okay, so close it for the moment. Again, just uh, select this zoom to fit. And this is how you get then next option is uh, zoom to objects and that is how you get that. So you basically have an error about this VDD and the ground actually. Okay, so how about we select some other ground pins and all that we'll do that. <laughs> 